Hi there, it's Alex Goad, best-selling coach, author, small business specialist, and today I want to talk to you about one of the mistakes that I see so many people making and it's costing them hugely in all aspects of their life, in business, in relationship, in health, everywhere. And in reality, what it comes down to is a very specific attitude, and here's what that attitude is. It's an attitude that's been given to us very largely by our society and our culture that we now live in that teaches us that things are supposed to be easy and that there's a shortcut for everything. But the truth of the matter is that there isn't and most things are actually not easy. And especially things on the superior top shelf of results, none of that's easy. So here's the mistake and here's the attitude. It's trying to get stuff done, trying to get a big reward, trying to accomplish something of significance without paying the full price up front. So here's how that works, is basically whenever you have any endeavor that you want to undertake, let's say you want to lose 30 pounds and put on some muscle, let's say that you want to write a book, let's say that you want to start a business, anything at all, all of it has a price. And You've probably heard this before, but success leaves clues. So if you investigate what those clues are and you investigate success, what you're going to see is that there's a price to be paid for all of it. And what we try to convince ourselves of, and really what the whole world tries to convince us of, including business, including corporations, including schools, including society at large, television, they try to tell us that it's going to be easier than it really is. And so what happens is that we often think that we can get away with doing a little bit less than what's actually necessary. For example, you might look at people that have struggled greatly to become something in business and there's traces of them along the way stumbling and falling. Falling flat on their faces where it hurts and it doesn't look good in public and you, you, you look at that and you think, gosh, I don't want to be that guy right now. But what you have to realize is that being that guy at some point is actually the price to pay. The price to pay is probably that at some point, in fact, I guarantee you that the price to pay is at some point you're going to have tremendous emotional turmoil, emotional pain. On a huge number of occasions on the journey, you're going to feel less than. You're going to feel like you're not good enough. You're going to compare yourself to others and find yourself lacking. And so, you know what? That's the price to pay. The price to pay is to continue on and to go down into those valleys where you feel like crap about yourself. You feel like crap about life. You feel like crap about what you're doing, but you keep going anyways, because then the opposite happens and you go up and you get to a peak. And both of those things are predictable, but we want to experience the peak without experiencing the valley. And the thing is that both of those things go together. The same thing, for example, so many people, this is something I've, I've been coaching people through health, alternative health stuff for years and years, including to a great degree, the ketogenic diet. And what I see with people with the ketogenic diet is that they don't want to do the full measure up front. And so they do it partially a little bit at a time. And what happens is that it doesn't work. It squarely doesn't work. You know, the reality of certain things is that there's things in life that have a gray zone, but there's things in life that are black and white. It's either one thing or it's not. And the ketogenic diet is exactly like that. When you're, on, when you're doing a ketogenic diet successfully, then what your body is running on is ketones. The only way that your body runs on ketones is when you flush all the sugar out. If you put any sugar in the machine, you're not going to run on ketones. You're going to run on sugar or a mix of both, and it's going to give a terrible result. Not only does it give a terrible result, but on top of it, it's unpleasant because you don't feel good. So, you've, so you go through some, a lot of sacrifice, effort. You stop doing things that you would like to do, and you start doing things that you don't like doing so much, and in this case, eating foods that are unfamiliar while leaving aside things that are familiar. And just a tiny little bit of cheating can prevent you from getting any results at all. And so many things in life are like that, which is why here's one of, here's the soundest thing that you can ever do before you start something. 
is not make sure that you've got it all mapped out and all figured out and all of that, because that's also wildly overrated. But the one thing that you do want to do is to figure out what the price is. What's the price that I have to pay in order to go from here to here? And then if you're going to start the journey, only start it because you have resolved to pay the price. And write down somewhere what that price is so that if you wake up one morning on your journey to building a great business and you've had a whole bunch of setbacks, your energy is low, your mood is low, you don't feel good about what you're doing, you don't feel successful at all, and you think you, know, you want to run away with your tail between your legs, get a job, go cry on somebody's shoulder. And that's the moment where you remind yourself that if you feel that way, it's because you're paying the price and you've already decided to pay the price. So you see your way through it, you come out the other side, and that's where the magic happens. So the lesson, everything has a price. Resolve to pay the full price up front because when you try to get a discount, the only thing that gets discounted is the results that you're gonna get. So thanks for watching this short video. I'm Alex Goad reminding you that today counts. So behave yourself accordingly. See you next time.